Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Well, this past Sunday, we got so much information about the Vega GPU. We got the pricing, availability, and the different models that will be available. The one thing that we did not get, though, was gaming benchmarks. Now, of course, AMD did show Vega running on a FreeSync monitor and compared it up against the G-Sync monitor. And overall, you get a smoother gaming experience with Vega paired with FreeSync as the minimums were much better. But we've all pegged this card to be a around the same performance as a GTX 1070. Fast forward to today and tweaktown.com has an article up where he says that an industry insider has given him some raw benchmark numbers for the Radeon RX 56. Now he said it looks like this car be the new $400 mainstream king and he says that the card beats the GTX 1070 in some of the biggest games in the market. Now as usual, I'll leave a link in the description down below so you guys can click on it for yourself. Now he says the RX Vega 56 card was running on an Intel i7-7700K at 4.2 GHz. It also had 16GB of DDR4 RAM clocked at 3000 MHz and he said it was running Windows 10. Benchmarks were run at 2560 by 1440 The Radeon RX Vega 56 was easily beating Nvidia's GeForce GTX 1070 in Battlefield 1. Doom, Civilization 6, and even Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Now, his source also went on to say that Battlefield 1 was running on Ultra settings, Civilization 6 was running on Ultra with 4 times MSAA, Doom was also at Ultra with 8 times TSAA enabled, and Call of Duty Infinite Warfare was running on its high preset. Now, Battlefield 1 had 94 frames per second compared to GTX 1070's 72.2 frames per second. Civilization 6 was running at 85.1 frames per second compared to the GTX 1070's 72.2 frames per second. Doom was running at 101.2 frames per second compared to the GTX 1070's 84.6 frames per second. That is a huge lead for AMD in the title of Doom, but to be honest, this is to be expected as this game is highly optimized for AMD hardware. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare was at 99 frames per second on the Vega 56 GPU and GTX 1070 did 92.1 frames per second. So it looks like Vega 56 is going to have a lot of potential, especially at the price of $399. If it's going to beat the GTX 1070 in the majority of games, and of course we know that with driver improvements over time, AMD hardware always is better. This is making the Vega 56 very, very interesting. Now if Vega 56 performance is better than a GTX 1070, I am really curious to see how Vega 64 will perform, especially when overclocked. Anyways, I really want to know what you guys think about it. What do you think about the Doom results and that AMD took a commanding 20% lead over the GTX 1070 with the Vega 56 GPU? What are your thoughts on Vega 64? Are you curious to see the clocks that it will achieve and the performance it will get from overclocking? Like I said, I really want to know what you guys think, so please leave your comments down below. I ask you guys to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one.